Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you the Fujifilm FinePix XP90 waterproof camera. It's a really awesome camera, and the price, it's a little bit pricey, but it's still pretty good, and I really like it a lot. And so here it is. It's really simple. It has really good quality. I really like that. The one thing that I was disappointed with this is the sound quality, which isn't that great. It's not terrible, but I wasn't too impressed with it. But if it's you're using it as an underwater camera, you really don't need great sound, so that's not a huge deal. I'm not going to be showing you everything about it. I'm just going to show you the basics. So to turn the camera on, you press the on-off button at the top, and then... See, if the battery chamber cover is locked, you have to, you see, it will not work. You need to make sure it's locked because if you take it underwater, that would be bad. So let me just go ahead and lock this real quick. I just got it locked fully. Now it works. So it's really easy. You just slip the SD card in there, charge the battery, and all, like I said, it's all stored on an SD card, so you can do picture and video. So I'm going to take a picture by pressing the top button, and now, see, if we go to this little video icon right here, we can see the picture, and I know you guys can't really tell because of this, but it's really good quality. And then to take a video, you see this little red button right here? So now, all right, so now it's recording. You can record, go underwater, do whatever you want. It's just the sound quality, like I said, isn't that good. And then to stop the record, you just press the red button again. And then to see it, go to here. Now we can watch it. All right, so now it's recording. You can record, go underwater. So as you can tell, the quality isn't that good. But it's not a big deal, especially since it's a waterproof camera. So, um, to zoom in, you press the W and T button. I'm still kind of figuring it out a little bit because I just got it. But I got some footage that I got at a couple pools that I went to. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the following footage. It makes it really easy to download on your computer. All you do is pop the SD card in there. And then I was able to download it onto my iPod Touch. And that part wasn't so easy. And if you want a tutorial on how to do that, I'll go ahead and show you. But without further ado, let me show you some of the footage I got with this sweet thing. So yeah guys, that was the awesome waterproof camera. I got it for like 250 bucks at Best Buy, so it's not t too terribly cheap, but if you are going to use it on your YouTube channel for water, if you have like a swimming thing or something like that, I, th I think it's definitely worth it. So um, if you want me to do a full review on it, once I figure more of it out, then I can do that. And it's easy, like I said, it's easy to download to your computer, just slip the SD card in, then it, boom, it pops up. And also, like I said before, it's really hard to get it on your iPod Touch or iPhone or iPad, but, but once you figure it out, it's pretty easy, but it is a little time consuming. And if you want a tutorial on that, let me know in the comments below, and I will do a tutorial, tut bleh, tutorial showing you how to do that. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.